Hey, good afternoon. I think it is afternoon. Um, went to my business finance class this morning. That was kind of boring. Um, he was going to give us demos of these problems that are going to be on the homework, but he didn't remember his login for the account, so he couldn't do it. Uh, so we started another chapter instead. He did say on the homework, there's one due this Thursday and one due next Tuesday. My goal is to get both completed today. Um, he kind of gave us a wink and said that there's two attempts on the homework. The first one shows you the answers and they're the same questions. So anybody that doesn't get 100% on the homework probably needs to go back to high school and learn how to utilize your resources to the best of your ability. So that's good news. Um, which means we're going to be done with that class for the weekend on, Tuesday, on Thursday, which is good. I'll just get in there in the morning for an hour, sit through whatever lecture he's got prepared, and we'll be good. So my goals today are to do those two homework assignments. I'm going to do an academic audit, as I call it. I go through every class, see what's due for the week, get a good idea of what's going on. I know there's discussion posts and there's some quiz somewhere. So I'm going to try to work on that today. Then I've got that night class tonight to go to um, Global Business Management. And we're supposed to bring our laptops for a quiz, which is interesting because we haven't learned anything yet, so maybe we will tonight. And then we have to create LinkedIn profiles. That was our homework. Um, I've had a LinkedIn profile for a couple of years now. I don't like the LinkedIn network. It's really weird how you log in and it's constantly bombarding you to add these 50 people on your network. And I think it is good networking. I do think employers go out there and look for people with endorsements with certain skills and the more positive feedback that you have will definitely go to your advantage. So that's good. If I can network with 30 people in this class and build up that profile, that'll probably help me in the long run. So that's today. I just talked to Alex. So he's going to see if he's got some time to go get lunch real quick. I haven't had anything to eat yet today. Then I'll come back, pull my chain for a few hours, get that class done tonight, come home and watch Suits. And that's an exciting Tuesday in my life now. really windy outside and uh, the majority of the snow has melted that is snow not a rock so it's still going down I see a day next week that's supposed to be in the 50s um, that would be nice and then we're gonna get some rain I don't mind rain this time of year when it's warm because it cleans the roads up um, the parking lots on the roads right now are really nasty and salty so hopefully it does rain for a little bit and gets that cleaned up I'm noticing there's a crap ton of leaves on my lawn which is ironic because I had them all cleaned up before the snow came so I don't know how they grew out of the lawn or something it's those damn pin oak trees next door that drop all the time. Um, the mower guy called me when I was in St. Thomas, St. Martin, one of the islands a month ago on the cruise. And I didn't want to answer the phone due to roaming. Well, he left a message that I listened to the next port when I got on Wi-Fi and I downloaded it. And he was calling to verify the, um, I always have him call with a quote before they do the service on the mower. Well, I listened to it. I figured I'll deal with it later. I'm on vacation. I get home, I go to that voicemail. It's not there, and it's not in the deleted messages. It vanished somewhere. And they've never called me back, and it's been like a month. So I suppose the ball's in my court, and I should give them a call and see what that quote is. Get that done, because I'm going to need that mower back here. Sometimes I mow in March. Sometimes I don't, know, I don't mow until late April. So I don't know which way it's going to go this year, but I need to step up on that. Well, I didn't film anything at lunch. I don't know why. I just didn't. I was hungry. Uh, Got Alex in the 540 back there. I need to stop and get gas, seeing that I need to drive all the way back to Kent and then back home again tonight. But it's 219, so we'll be able to kick the work off at uh, about 230 after we put. I, mean, I still don't know how big the tank is in this. It'll be whatever whatever I put in it plus about one. So I guess we'll find out in a minute. There goes the black M Tech. Oh no, that's the Dyna. The Dyna 5. It's got to be a 16 gallon tank then. All right, total cluster the past couple hours have been. Um, so I had lunch with Alex, I went back to the house. I did four or five hours of coursework, multiple quizzes, multiple discussion posts, multiple assignments, maybe eight or ten assignments I did today. Um, left on time, got to Kent without too much of an issue. Um, parking, totally full. Last year I came on, there's like eight cars here. This week, I can't even find a place to go. So I sit and I wait, somebody leaves, I pull into the spot, take a ticket, park the car. I get out, I don't have my wallet. I have no idea where my wallet is and I just took a ticket for parking. So I get to class, get there on time, sit down, find out that I brought the wrong book um, for the class. I brought one for using information systems for business management or something instead of business case sustainability. Um, so wrong book, 
didn't study for a quiz that we were supposed to have because I didn't have the book and I was waiting and then I slipped my mind over the weekend, but then the, the quiz got canceled, so that's the one thing. There's the one thing that went in my favor. Um, my mom found my wallet at home, so at least it isn't lost, I just didn't have it. We did get out of class eight minutes early, go to the car, and whatever the hell event is going on that like 5,000 people are at the university at 9 p.m., that got let out at the exact same time my class did. So I was the 20th car in line waiting to go through the one open pay station with no money to pay my damn parking ticket. So I give it to the girl. She was good news, by the way. Give it to her. She's like, well, normally I'd have to write you all this stuff, but it's a long ass line, so just go. And she waved me on. So I got my free parking. I uh, was very appreciative of that. Now I have to go home. Now there's going to be two quizzes in this class. One on a book that hasn't arrived yet, and then we have to read all these cases, and he's timing the quiz to be able to tell if we've read it or not before, or if we're looking it up as we go. And I would, I, I hate reading. I don't read 30 page cases and then take a three question quiz. I'll just wing it and figure it out from Google. Um, so a bunch more work to do, but everything today I did so deliberately I have gotten 100% on everything I've done so far this semester and then to totally screw it up in the last two hours the last class of the day Just pissed me off, but it's done now. We're going home traffic starting to thin out this time last week I saw like four cars between here and my house This isn't what I would call busy. It's certainly better than during the day but there's traffic, and I don't like that. I hope it goes back to how it was last week. I mean, realistically, it was probably a basketball game or something that can't host it. Hopefully there aren't very many on Tuesday nights at night. All right, good morning, 12.30, I am beat. Um, the quizzes for that class are not yet available, so I didn't do that. Razvan and Sabrina came over, hung out for a little bit, maybe two hours. Um, they left a little while ago. Need to get through today's emails and get the vlog up and that stuff. Uh, clean the house up a little bit. It's a mess. And uh, tomorrow, I'm not sure what's going on. I might go visit the grandparents. There's not a lot of academic work to do. It'll be a little bit of, re of a relaxed day until Thursday comes in. Thursday is going to be another crazy one. But um, super productive today, so I'm happy about that. Um, trying to think, I wanted to update you on something pending. Not the engine. I haven't heard anything going on about that. I'll probably check in with Larrick mid next week, see if they've heard anything from the machine shop or Dr. Vanos on the rebuild of the Vanos and the cleaning up and rebuild of the block and heads. Otherwise, that's it for today. So really just lugged about 11, 10, 11 hours total today of school stuff. Made a huge dent in the week, uh, really the majority of it, so that's good news. Tomorrow night, we'll watch the Cavaliers play the Phoenix Suns, who lost tonight against um, Philadelphia 76ers, so I'm sure they'll come into tomorrow's game with a bit of a vengeance, seeing that the 76ers, I believe, are still at the bottom of the East. Although they are working their way up, they went zero in like 20 something, and now they're one of won a couple of good ones here. But, all right, I'm done, I'm tired. I'm talking out my ass, I'm going to bed. Talk to you guys tomorrow on Wednesday, hump day. Good night.